going to recap on a couple of things. This leg here needs to be a heavy leg. I'm just going to let my foot hang down because although this is a short grip, it isn't necessary to have this because if I'm holding this for any period of time and then all of a sudden I let go with it, the partner feels it. Whereas if I go heavy leg right from the beginning, they're less likely to be alerted when I open that position up to go for something. But you can't afford to have your legs straight up. That's very easy for Josh just to put the weight and that's it. Just step out, step over my leg. Yeah? Or what you can do from here, if my legs straight, step it out, step it from my leg. Even here from here. That's, that's as good as track. Okay, I can't get the half guard back while he's got his foot that's on. A heavy leg, you can't do the same. You can't bring it to because as he turns his foot, I can just track it. That's why this foot kind of just dangles down. I feel it trying to come underneath. Okay? So, what we're going to play out here is just a couple of little things. Josh gets a grip. Yeah, looking at controlling my position. I play this quite cagey. I'll keep my hands here. Okay? So, I'm not necessarily looking for the underhook straight off the go. Because most people get into this little battle for that. So I'm going to look for Josh trying to find the underhook. And that's why my elbow goes tight to my body. One way that I can make this difficult for him, as he puts his hand in, is I can turn slightly. So what I'm going to do from this end is I'm going to use this leg just to pull him position up to here. Okay? And I'm going to sit up. As I sit up, I'm going to go right between his legs to come over. As we come over, I grab his sleeve and I take my hand out. So I get this position secure. My knee comes up. Because I'm trying to make it as difficult for him as I can to escape his hips away. And then I can either come to this side here. Same again, I use my chest to reposition. And I'm going to look at controlling his elbows from this position. So I've got side control. Okay? It's a way of playing for this arm. So I keep my elbow tight into my body. I've got a heavy leg, elbows tight. Because I might want to use this just to post him away. Because even from there, he's got to come inside of me to try and get the underhook. But as we are here, as he plays for that, he gets his hand. I'm going to turn slightly and I'm going to use my leg. I'm not going to try and push him because I might make him sit up quick. So this kind of leg I can put heavy. Bring up the side. And as I do, I grab his wrist. Stuff it slightly and sit. Clench in time. Now, if the person goes low, we're going to do a couple of options. If he's low, I'd do something else. So from here, post up on the hand. What I'm going to do from here is I'm going to go right underneath. And I pull him onto me. He's trapped his arm against me. So as we go here, see this leg? Comes under his thigh. That leg comes out. Roll up. I come all the way to this position. See how I've got the belt and the trouser leg? It's very, very difficult now for him to look at coming back towards me. I can even come up to put my knee. So I can take the position to find where I want to be. Okay? Got back into side control. At the end, you're going to take the preference. This is about subtly controlling that arm. I'm trying not to alarm him. Okay? One more. Leg. So I've got my elbow in tight to my body. I'm making him up for the angle. There's no way he'll push that in from there. When he does, I'm going to turn. As I go from here, I might grab his sleeve, grab his wrist, and I push him. Okay? As I do that, this leg comes up to the side of him. What I'm after doing, at some point, Josh is going to want to pull his arm out. So if I go to here, to sit up, what I'm looking at doing is using my leg, look at the path of his arm. John wants to do this. He had to pull it out. My legs in the way. So in the second he takes him to recognise that, I'm up, I can, I pull my elbow back towards my own hip. And I need it there. I'll keep this and dive underneath. And again, as I get here, this leg comes out under the wrong. So it's a bit easier to get again. Keep him to this position. My chest is blocking this shoulder. Remember, you treat the body as a capital I. So 
So you control the hips, shoulders, and the spine connected to. So I've gone from controlling his hips, using my leg and that pressure, and now come underneath the back control. I've got my chest behind one shoulder, and I've got his elbow. So his options for turning will be governed as to where I want him to go. Do I want him to turtle up, or do I, do I want him to allow him to turn into me? All depends on what my options are from here, where I feel I want to go. Okay? Anybody want to see again? that in as I bring my leg up. So tough and clamp. So look at the position of my leg and my head. I've almost put my leg and elbow together. So if Josh tries to take his arm out there, he's hitting a brick wall. Now look what he's doing to get his arm out. He's postured on the floor to be able to get up, which gives me more space. Now I'm going to dive underneath him. This arm goes all the way through. Okay? This leg then kicks straight up above me. His weight's on me. We did a little technique like this the other day. I bring the leg out, turn him. As we come over, I keep this leg travelling, look. I'm pushing him to steer. And I can come in, control the elbows. 